The Museum of Norwich is only a short walk from the Forum. From Millennium Plain, you face St Peter Mancroft Church, the most spectacular of Norwich's medieval churches. You are now entering the lanes, the old shopping streets of Norwich. Go down Swan Lane, named after an old public house. Now down Bridewell Alley to the museum. These films are made by the members of the Norwich Community History Club. We want to encourage you to come and visit the Museum of Norwich at the Bridewell and see it for yourself. The Bridewell has a colourful history. During seven centuries it's been a home to powerful merchants, a house of correction, a factory and since 1925 a friendly community museum. It now tells the story of Norwich and its people, of its industries and domestic life in the 20th century. Surely something for all ages to enjoy. The Museum of Norwich is all about people. People who made things, people who played, people in love. People who broke the rules. People like Margaret Cayley, a Norwich woman confined here in the early 1600s when this building was a house of correction. On Whitson Tuesday last, Margaret Cayley did revile and miscall Christopher Giles and oftentimes clapped her hand on her backside and bade him kiss there. So much to discover in the Museum of Norwich. My name is Jenny Keynes, I'm the Curator of Community History here at the Museum of Norwich at the Bridewell and I was the project officer during the redevelopment phase from 2009 to when we reopened in 2012. So when we reopened obviously we were loud and proud, we were saying we're about Norwich, we're about what made Norwich really wealthy and fabulously famous for its Norwich cloth which was exported all over the world and for people to be able to see this and actually more importantly hear the loom in action it makes a tremendous din and if you imagine there were thousands of these all over the city this is what people did when they worked from home it's not a new concept really at all sitting hunched in front of your laptop at home people actually worked on these in their lofts at home and contemporary visitors to the city um, remarked that there weren't many people out and about in the streets but you could hear this terrific din We've been able to train up four or five specialist weavers to actually work it and to demonstrate it to members of the public on special days and for um, group tours that who, we, who we book in and the reaction has been amazing. People are absolutely stunned to see this fabulous piece of machinery in action. This loom has been in the museum almost since it opened, so it opened as a museum in the 1920s, in 1925, and then the loom came in in about 1930, so we think it's, it's more or less been here as long as there's, there's been a, a, a museum. We took the decision to um, invest in actually restoring the loom so that we could have it weaving again and just show people actually how the loom works. It's very interesting, it's worked on a binary system, which is the um, kind of early development of how computers work. So what you can see behind me are the cards, the punch cards. 
that is the pattern and that's telling the, the needles how to rise and fall and create the pattern. So we developed a pattern from an original Norwich fabric. We took the original Norwich fabric, translated that pattern onto essentially graph paper so we could tell the loom how to weave that pattern. Maybe one of your ancestors was a weaver. Perhaps you're researching your Norwich family history. Jenny will tell you more. I had been researching my family history and discovered that from the early 1700s my family had worked as village shoemakers. This changed when large-scale shoe manufacturing came to Norwich. Here, I was able to see examples of the tools used by village shoemakers. Also information about the development of the shoe manufacturing in Norwich, including photographs, examples of machinery, and samples of work. I remember my grandmother wearing a pair of shoes like this, laced up right up to the ankles. My visit gave me enhanced insight into the lives of my ancestors and how the coming of the shoe factories superseded their skills, not only destroying their craft but also their livelihoods. You're never too old to play. Every adult was a child once. My mum played with toys like this. The games and toys bring back memories of my own childhood. In a museum like this, my sons at me never too old to play. Looking back at Norwich through time, I'm looking for a personal connection. Something that links my own experiences with those of the past. As a son of a grocer, this feels so familiar, but also so beautifully different and romantic. What could be more familiar than coffee and shops? But I found that the coffee shop was once shockingly new and caused a social stir. A place of culture, of its own code of conduct, but also controversy and even violence. It's easy to think that people in the past were just like us, but in different clothes. But they fought so differently, with attitudes that were anything but nostalgic. In 1674, the woman's petition against coffee accused the hot beverage of leading men to trifle away their time, scold their chops and spend their money, all for a little base, black, thick, Nasty, bitter, stinking, nauseous puddle water. Come and find your own connection with the past and learn something new. A 
And what are the museum's visitors? Who are they? And what do they think of the Museum of Norwich at the Bridewell? Can you tell me what, what sort of um, uh, customer do you get on the whole? Are they passing trade or um, tourists predominantly? It can be split 50-50 really. There's a lot of people who are local who've never been to the museum before and didn't even know it was here. But there's also the other half who are visiting Norwich and they get the leaflets and they come in. So it's quite a mixture really. It can be generally I think half and half I'd say. Yeah. Do you get feedback at the time from the, uh, from the visitors? A lot of people enjoy it. So they do enjoy it so much, they, um, they come down the stairs and they instantly tell you how much they've enjoyed it. But we also have a comments book out which they, they ask and write stuff in. And so generally, yeah, it is uh, instant feedback. Why have you come to the Bridewell today? I was quite interested in the, um, the shoe industry because you know, both of my parents worked in the shoe industry and uh, seeing this, some of the stuff about Star Trek Factory was quite interesting. I've been coming um, to Norwich, obviously since I was a little girl, it's quite interesting to see the changes up in the galleries of the streets and the way things have developed over the years, particularly interested in the Second World War II exhibition um, as my mum was evacuated from London to Old Catton um, during those years and remembers vividly of the, the bombs falling and uh, the devastation that was caused in Norwich over the, the years. Witty, colourful, unexpected and fascinating displays in this iconic, historic building provide something for all ages to enjoy. This is the Museum of Norwich at the Bridewell, part of our city's history through seven centuries and a true people's museum. <laughs>